This is just a quick video to go over something that you probably already understand very intuitively, but we're just going to make sure you understand some of the details. This is obviously related to the kidney unit. We're talking about osmoregulation. You all understand the story of Goldilocks. Remember the story of Goldilocks and the three pair, three pairs. Oh my gosh, the three bears. And she goes into the house and then she sees like a bed that's too hard, a bed that's too soft, and one that's just right. This is the concept of homeostasis, where your body can be too salty or not salty enough, and then you have to be able to regulate it. So that's what the kidney does to help you with some of this homeostasis regulation mechanism. So, for example, I think I've mentioned this several times in some of the other videos, but if you do a lot of exercise, you work out a lot, and you sweat quite a bit, you get really thirsty, and then when you go to try to pee, you find out that your pee is kind kind of concentrated, kind of dark, not very uh, watery, and has a particular pungency. I don't know if that's a word, but it's a fancy way of saying smells a little bit funky. And then sometimes you drink a lot of water and you find out you keep drinking tons and tons of water and then you go to urinate and then you find your urine to be very dilute. So this was mentioned in the very first video of this unit, but just as a, a quick table to summarize these things so you understand what's going on, you're either going to be dehydrated or overhydrated or like Goldilocks just right and your body's trying to keep you in that just right location so this should be pretty self-explanatory but when you're dehydrated obviously you don't have enough water in your body your body fluids become hypertonic so they become a little more concentrated than they need to your kidney then responds and uh, tries to reabsorb as much water as possible to save as much water so you're not going to be excreting lots of water you still have to get rid of urea so you still will produce some pee but the water that goes out with that is going to be reduced in volume so small volume of urine uh, you're going to be thirsty and then dark darker urine basically you're going to be kind of lethargic so low energy raised pulse and then lower blood pressure in extreme cases uh, brain damage seizure and death so you know that this is something you understand if you don't drink enough water you're gonna die it's also possible to overhydrate yourself i don't know if this is a real story but i've been saying it quite a bit i think it was there was some competition called what is it called hold your wii for a wii it was around the time the Nintendo Wii came out and there was some competition to see who could drink the most water without going to pee and the winner of that competition was supposed to win a new Nintendo Wii. Very clever marketing. I don't think this was Nintendo sponsored. But I think the horrible part of that story is somebody died as a result of drinking too much water and not peeing. So when you gotta go, you gotta go. So your teacher shouldn't be preventing you from going to the bathroom. Sometimes I get really angry and say no, but um, yeah, you should just go. Overhydration, extra intake of water, body fluids become hypotonic. That means less concentrated in terms of solute concentration compared to hypertonic. You have clear, large volumes of urine, makes you feel like you're very healthy, but you're probably just drinking too much water. You can also end up harming yourself. Um, leading to death and seizures and coma, like that horrible story that I just told. Confusion, drowsiness, delirium, and nausea. I see a lot of people walking around with large bottles of water trying to stay well hydrated, but you can't overdo it. And if you're using that as some kind of method to help out with kind of, I don't know, diet control, it's probably not a good idea either. So confusion, drowsiness, delirium, nausea, all things that I'm experiencing right now because I haven't taken a breath since we started this video. So are you dehydrated or overhydrated? Do what Goldilocks would do and break into someone's house and try out all their beds and porridge and find the one that works just right for you.